Kate Lucas, and this is my fifth grade unit on the life cycle of a trout. Raising trout in the classroom provides a hands-on learning opportunity that engages students and helps connect them to real-life ecosystems in their community. Hatching eggs in the classroom and watching fish develop from eggs to fry generates enthusiasm among students and helps them develop caring attitudes about local species and their habitat. Having a deeper understanding and fostering a sense of stewardship for the planet is important for students of all ages. A variety of standards will be addressed during this unit, including the California State Standards for Language Arts, Math, and Science, as well as technology standards from the International Society for Technology in Education. There are two primary goals that will be covered during this unit. The first will be for students to understand the life cycle of a trout. The second will be for students to understand the anatomy of a trout, including the use of its senses and physical features to function in its environment. This technology-rich unit addresses the multiple intelligences theory developed by Howard Gardner. All activities within the lessons work to benefit and highlight students' strengths. These intelligences include naturalist, intrapersonal, verbal, visual, musical, logical mathematical, interpersonal, and kinesthetic. We will start at day one, the day that the eggs arrive from the hatchery. Students will view a short introductory video explaining the importance of learning about our local ecosystems and taking care of wildlife, including trout. We will then be transported outdoors on a virtual field trip of the streams and waterways of California. This will provide a true-to-life visual of where our new finned friends are from. Students will work in collaborative think-pair-share groups to discuss their observations and ask any questions. Our understanding of the local ecosystems and waterways will then be enhanced by a video FaceTime conversation with a fish and wildlife expert from the Fish Springs Hatchery, where our eggs came from. Students will be introduced to our classroom tank and the parts that will be utilized to provide the ideal environment for our trout to develop. QR codes will be on each part for students to refresh their instructions during the unit. Day one will conclude with the students creating their kit blog site for this unit, recording their findings and observations for the day. On day two, we will explore the life cycle of a trout. Students will be introduced to the five stages of the life cycle of a trout by viewing a video. Following instruction, Pairs will utilize iPads and Chromebooks to play an interactive life cycle match game. In small groups, students will be excused to go observe the trout eggs. At this stage, some of the eggs are hatching into Alevin. Students will record data and observations into their kid blog. Digital photos can also be taken using the classroom iPads. Day 2 will conclude with students working in small groups to create a short pantomime acting out each of the stages. Presentations will be video recorded so students can include this activity in their kid blog. Day 3, Trout Anatomy. The day will start with an introduction to the anatomy of a trout, covering terminology and the location of essential body parts. Students will then participate in a virtual dissection designed to observe how living things are similar to and different from each other. Recording observations and reflections on the dissection will be recorded in their ongoing kid blog. At this stage, some of the alevin are starting to swim around the tank as they progress to the fry stage. Day 4, Song and Dance Day. Day 4 begins with a terminology review in the format of a Jeopardy-style game show. Students will ring in to answer questions. Next, students will break into groups to write a song about the life cycle of a trout. These songs will be recorded using the video capabilities on the classroom iPads and edited using the iMovie application. The observation and record taking time today will be more interesting as most of the alevin are now full-fledged fry swimming around the aquarium. Day 5, Presentation Day. Groups will present their music videos to their peers, starting with a brief introduction and followed by a question and answer time. The fry continue to grow in preparation for release into the wild. Day 6, Release Day. Our class will take a field trip to Diamond Valley Lake to release our trout into the wild. A nature guide will accompany our group and provide assistance as we find the perfect new home for our trout. As we bid farewell to our trout, I reflect on what I've learned during our course, including new technologies and tools that can enhance learning and enrich the classroom experience for all students. 
I also have a much better understanding of Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences and how to plan units that incorporate a variety of activities that will address all of these intelligences for every student. Every student is unique and should be provided the opportunity to showcase these strengths. As a teacher, I look forward to utilizing innovative technology to create engaging lessons for my students.